Hi there, today we're going to practice counting by nickels and dimes. So let's begin by checking out the value of each coin, how much each coin is worth. So this is the penny, and we know that's worth one cent. This is the nickel, and it is worth five cents. And then this is the dime, and it's worth ten cents. Now an easy way to remember between the penny and the dime, it, because they are both the same size, is the penny is copper colored, like a brownish color, and the dime is a silver color. Now when counting by nickels and dimes, it is best to rearrange the coins by their values, how much they're worth. And you always want to make it that the largest amount is to the left, because we count from left to right, and the smallest amount is to the right. So now let's count these, but we're going to rearrange them or move them from greatest to smallest. When we're rearranging them, the dime is worth the most. Now when we say the largest amount, I don't mean the size of the coin, because the nickel is actually slightly bigger than the dime, but how much it's worth. We know that the dime is worth 10 cents. So let's move the dime over. So the dime is the greatest, the nickel is worth 5 cents, so it's in the middle, and the least amount here would be the penny. So let's move the penny over. Now it'll be much easier to add because we're adding largest to smallest amount. We always start with the biggest number. So we have 10 cents plus how much is the nickel worth? Let's write 5 cents and 1 cent for the penny. So if we add 10 plus 5, we get 15. And then we add one more to 15, count on, from 15 plus 1 is 16, for a total of 16 cents. So let's take a look at more nickels and dimes and see if we can rearrange them and find the total value. So now we have a ton of coins here. And remember the rule that we always want to organize from largest to smallest. So which coin has the largest value? That's right, the dimes. So we're going to move all our dimes over first. So we have one dime here. Let's move it over. Another dime here. Let's move that over. And we have another dime sitting right here, so let's move that one over here too. So now we have nickels and pennies, so we need to move the nickels around. So we have a nickel here. Let's organize these. Find our other nickels. We have a nickel here. We have a nickel here. And we have a nickel here as well, so we got to move some of these around. And we have one more nickel here. Now let's move my dimes back a little bit here so you can see them a little bit better. And we have one more dime here that I'm going to organize. And let's clear these guys up just a little bit more. So all our, our nickels should be together. And so should our dimes and our pennies. So now we have our nickels straightened out. And then all we have left are our pennies here. So let's move our pennies around and bring them over to the right here because we count from left to right. OK, so now we have our dimes nickels and pennies and our dimes are worth 10 cents each so we're going to count on to count up our dimes first so each one's worth 10 so we're going to skip count by 10 okay so let's start here 10 20 30 now how much is each nickel worth that's right it's worth five so we're going to change over from counting by tens to now counting by fives we have 35, then what? Let's write 40, 45, 50, 55. Now we're changing over again. We were at dimes at 10 cents, now nickels at 5 cents, 
Now we're going to pennies. So we had 55, then we'd have 56, 57, and 58 for a total of 58 cents. Great work. So in review, when you're counting by nickels and dimes, a nickel is worth 5 cents, a dime is worth 10 cents. Arrange them from greatest amount, which would be dimes, to smaller amounts, which would be nickels, and then if you have pennies, pennies last. Arrange them from left to right, count by tens, then count by fives, and then count by ones to add up to find your total value. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.